What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm really excited because a card was just announced that could potentially break one of my favorite decks of all time and I don't want to spoil it just yet. We'll get into the video soon but if you guys enjoy these kind of videos make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one. We upload a lot of videos here, a lot of entertaining videos, educational videos and videos like this one where we're going to review a card and show you guys why it can be so broken. In this video I'm going to be reviewing the card. I'm going to be showing you guys some test hands, some combos, some things you can do with this card and why this card can be absolutely busted. Now I don't want to keep you guys waiting for too long, but I hope you guys do enjoy it with that. Let's get right into the video. All right, so we're here on YGO Organization and you guys can see this brand new card that was just released. I believe this is Cyberstorm Access is the set that it's going to be coming out in and it's actually called Ringo Worm the 100 Apple Dragon. This is a play on words because in Japanese Ringo means apple. Fun fact for you guys there. So I think it's a really cool card and I was just thinking, okay, it's a level two dragon, kind of cool, whatever, but let's read through the effects and I'm gonna show you guys why this card could be absolutely busted in a deck like Sword Soul. Spoiler alert, I think this card is gonna be really, really good. All right, so let's get right into it. So first thing here, of course, we know it's Ringo Worm, the 100 Apple Dragon. It's a light dragon level two tuner, which is absolutely crazy. I could see this even being played in something like Sprite. It's a level two, it's a tuner, could be kind of spicy, right? 100 attack, 1100 defense, this doesn't matter. Let's get into the effects, which is the most important part. So you can use the first effect and then the second effect. So if there's a face up non-effect monster on the field, so this is very important. Non-effect monster means either it could be a token, a normal monster. And then if you have that on the field, it could be on your side of the field or on your opponent's side of the field. You can just straight up special summon this card from your hand. And then during the turn, you synchro summon to synchro monster. You can banish this card from your graveyard and special summon a hundred apple dragon token. Now this could be absolutely really cool because the token First of all, is a worm monster, which can obviously be very, very important in a deck like Sword Soul, but it's a level two just token that you can special summon for free. And then if this token is used as a synchro material, it can be treated as a tuner. This is insane. Like, okay, so this is just straight up insane. You guys can imagine all of the different things that you can do with this card. The reason I wanted to show off this card is because in a deck like Sword Soul here, I really want to show off a quick, like, not test hand, but this looks kind of like a typical hand. You know, you see a Moye, you see a couple worms, but let's say in this hand, you also see the 100 Apple Dragon. So in this video, what I'm going to be doing a lot is just showing you guys the potential of this card and how it can actually be really, really good in the deck like Sword Soul. Now, obviously, I'm just seeing this card for the first time. So there's probably a lot of other combos that you can do that I'm not going to be showing off here. And there's probably going to be really good in other decks as well. But in Sword Soul specifically, I think it could be really good. The only downside, and I wish this was a thing earlier, is that if this wasn't a dragon and this was a worm on its own, it would be super, super, like it would be so busted. The token's a worm though, which I guess counts for something. But with that being said, let me show you guys how, you know, you can play out a hand like this one. This is just a quick hand that I saw. So let's just say you normal summon a Moye and let's say you reveal uh, your Vishuda, right? So you're going to reveal the Vishuda. You're going to get a token to your side of the field. Where's the token? It's right here. You're going to get a token to your side of the field. All right. So now that you have a non-effect monster, you don't have to synchro summon right away. You can actually just use the effect to special summon itself because you have a non-effect monster. And what do you have now? You have a level two tuner, a level four tuner, and a level four Moye, right? What you can actually do is you can actually just send this to the graveyard as well as a Moye to go into a level six. Now, what level six is, could you guys imagine? You can imagine Coral Dragon. You can imagine something like Char Sardis Charge Warrior. Now, why are these two cards pretty good? All right, let's say we go into Coral Dragon here, right? So special summon Coral Dragon attack. Going second, of course, it's kind of a board breaker. You can discard a card to pop a card your opponent controls. But if this card is sent to the graveyard, you can draw a card. So this is one option for you. But here, let's just pretend like we don't have any extenders, right? Let's say if you were playing this combo properly, you would probably do the 10-E plays first, all right? But in this case, you have a tuner, another tuner. So let's put this back into our extra deck and let's just go into something like a Stardust Charge Warrior, all right? So let's summon this. I just wanna give you guys different examples of cards you can use. So Stardust Charge Warrior, again, if this card is synchro summoned, you draw a card. So it's kind of similar to Coral Dragon in that sense. You don't have to be sent it to the graveyard, but it just synchro summons, so you get to draw a free card. Here we drew another Vishuda, it doesn't really matter. But what happens here now, which is really nice, is you have a level six and a level four. The level four token is, keep in mind, a tuner. So you're gonna be able to use these two and then go into something like a Baron de Floor. Now, obviously, Sword Soul, if you have a long wand in your hand, you don't have a problem going to Baron anyways. But what this does for you is it gets you an extra draw to your hand. Also, I forgot Moye gets a draw when you use it for a synchro summon. It doesn't have to be for a Sword Soul monster, it just has to be synchro summon so for that reason you should actually draw two cards so let's draw again so here you're setting up a baron you still have five cards in your hand right so that's really really powerful you can imagine how much better this gets if you're using something like a coral dragon and then coral dragon can go into something like your at emancipator dragite over here because what ends up happening is dragite has now either a moye in the graveyard or has a coral dragon which is a water so it actually makes it even easier to get dragite live on the board so i just wanted to show you guys different options let's do another test hand i guess here let's reset our hand 
see if we can draw into the ringworm dragon and show you guys what we can do. All right, so a hand like this one, you know, you can do some typical sword soul combos, doesn't matter. What I want to do though is I want to get to the ringworm because I want to show you guys what this card can do. So this is like another hand that you can potentially see, but let's say you don't use the sword soul monsters. Let's say you want to use the tiny monsters. You can do some typical tiny plays. So let's say you special summon your Ashuna, you send it to the grave for something like a monk, right? You don't always have to be using the sword soul monsters to get this off, right? So let's say you use the Ashuna. Let's say we activate the Ashuna effect and then we're going to be able to summon a Vashuda from our deck. And then because the Vashuda is on the field, we have a non-effect monster. We can now special summon our Ringo Worm. And then now you have stuff like, okay, you have access to a level nine, which actually can be really powerful because a level nine option that I just put into the extra deck actually is something like Shen Shen. So now you're summoning Shen Shen and Shen Shen is really powerful, of course, because any card sent from the field to the graveyard is banished instead. And you can imagine against a lot of decks, just a Dark Law essentially for this deck could be very, very powerful, right? So you're setting up like a Shen Shen. And then of course here, like you can still do stuff like long one into the shooter and then you can summon a baron and then you have the blackout with this hand so obviously it all depends on what your hand looks like but i just wanted to show you guys that with the tiny monster there's still some really cool plays right so there's a lot of different options and again this is not like a perfect like combo video i just saw the card for the first time and i was like you know this is really exciting this is something different and so i feel like if we play around with this there's a lot of options that could be explored all right so what i did here was i just added the long one and the ringo worm because i want to show you guys what you can do with a card like long one so what you can do here is obviously you can special summon the long one by pitching the moye i would honestly just even go desires first to be honest with you so let's just banish 10 and then we'll draw two see if we can get an extra worm monster to our hand so let's draw two one and two we got a worm monster beautiful all right so what we're gonna do here so just because we drew the vishuda now what we can do is we can summon the long one but first what we'll do is that we'll actually summon this to reveal the vishuda then what we'll do is get a token of course then here we can obviously make a level eight if we want to we can summon the ringo but what we'll do here first is actually we'll just go straight into the long one and then let's say we pitch the shooter here and then we're gonna get another token all right so we have two tokens we have the long one the moye we also have this which we can special summon obviously you can play it differently right you can make a level 10 first if you want to make the baron you don't want to lose something like the biru let's just pretend like you know you're playing this properly i just want to show you guys what kind of combos can kind of look like so now that you have the ringo what you can do is you can actually just go long one plus ringo into an eight probably oh are there any good 12s that's a good question i'm not playing any 12s in here i just kind of threw this extra deck together but if there are good 12s that could be an option for you so what we're going to want to do here is we're probably going to go ringo man maybe i should have pulled the extra deck a little bit better but if there was a 12 a 12 would be really good here right so let's just pretend i mean obviously we don't have a 12 so let's see what we can do from here all right i mean let's do something similar where we go this and this into our coral dragon or actually let's go into start as charge warrior here charge is gonna draw moy is gonna draw i guess you could have gone into the level 10 to get an extra draw i mean we have really good cards here in our hand to be honest with you but let's say we synchro summon with the long one and a token into a baron you're gonna burn your opponent for 12 this is gonna trigger and we're gonna get to summon another token and it can be a level two it could be a oh keep in mind it doesn't have to be used as a tuner it can be a tuner but it doesn't have to be used as a tuner so now you have a level four tuner and a non-tuner here so what you can do is you can go into another 10 with these two you can go into an eight with these two which is nice oh i guess maybe we should have gone into coral dragon here instead because if we went into coral dragon uh doesn't really make a difference we could go honestly this uh a level 12 would be nice are there any good level 12s in the game someone let me know in the comment section down below because you could theoretically go this and this into like a coral dragon and then if there is a good level 12 you can use coral dragon and this to go into a level 12 coral dragon is going to draw another card and then you know then you have another is there any good level 12s i don't, I don't know but anyways i'm just testing here you, you obviously like you guys can like probably make up a lot of different combos keep in mind i just put this deck together i'm gonna actually search real quick if there are any level good 12s okay so let's say there we go, level 12, Synchro Monster. Are there any little good ones? Oh, I guess we could go for Geomath Mech. It's kind of weird though, but I guess it is an option for you. Well, I guess you could go Geomath Mech if you want to go for OTK. Anyways, I'm just showing you guys what this card can do. There's a lot of potential, I feel like, with this card in Sword Soul. I think this card is just very, very cool. Are there any other plays? Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys know of any that I maybe you have missed. And obviously, there's different ways to play this deck. I think it's just a really cool option for you guys. And again, I put this deck together real quick. So don't look at this as like a good or bad deck profile. This is kind of just, hey, what can this deck do real quick? I just slapped it together. All right. 
So in my defense, this is not something that's like super well thought out. I just saw this card today and I was like, man, there has to be a cool way to use it. And I feel like there might be applications in Sword Soul. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. So that is it for today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. This card, I think, could be absolutely busted in Sword Soul. The thing with Ringo Worm is kind of just like, I think I need more time studying how I should do the combos, what kind of cards should go into the extra deck, because I feel like that really matters. Again, you have access to something like Shen Shen, you have access to Baron, you have access to so many different cards in Sword Soul. So I really want to figure out some combos. And if you guys know of any combos, let me know in the comment section down below. But again, I just think the potential of this card in Sword Soul is absolutely insane. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one. Guys, I'm telling you, I think this card is going to be really good. I think this year is going to be even better for the channel. So make sure you guys subscribe to watch all the entertaining videos. I have so much in store for you guys. Just wait and see. I promise it's going to be insane. So thank you guys all for watching. With that, Spanko signing out. Peace.